What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about Tyree Eason Jump Shot Release. This one here came from lots of comment requests, so after watching, please let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. It doesn't matter if it's a base or release or whatever height range, I'm running episodes on all height ranges anyway. And by the way, thank you guys for your ongoing support in this series. Your recommendations and likes really, you know, keep this series going, so it would be really awesome if you guys can do the same on this video. So now let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know how this jump shot series works, basically every video I'll be covering a specific base release and I will cross compare to the others that I already covered. In this way we can build those charts up video per video. There will be lots of elements that will be covered in this one which is not included on the 2k charts like front challenge, side drift and visual comparisons. So now for the first one, the speed parts. This one here will be divided into two parts. First one will be the input speed which is how long you need to press the shoot button and the second one will be the release speed which is the time between the moment you press the shoot button and the moment your player actually released the ball. And now for the results and here you can see for input and release speed it's the fastest one so far. Which is a good start because if this one here have a really quick release speed, it means that it has a huge chance to have the best challenge reduction. And by the way, when you see this gap here, like for example 1.450 and 1.466, try not to take that seriously because that's too small. Like try not to be bothered much about it. Only bother about it if it's like 1.4 versus 1.5. Now for the next one, the side drift. And for those of you who don't know what side drift is, that's the sideway movement that a jump shot does when you shoot. And this one here is not just cosmetics because it will actually affect coverage. It is mostly affected by jump shot base though, but releases will have some influence on how it will avoid challenge. I think it's based on the motion of the release. Now for the next one, the visual cue. So just to give you a visual perspective on all angles, here you go. And now for the most important part, the challenge reduction. For me personally, it's the most important element because it factors in a lot of things. Like your shot speed, release height, front drift which is the forward motion of your base, defensive immunity and some other stuff. And now for the results, and here you can see, it's the top one so far. Which is a really big thing because the ones behind it are the top heavies and their gap is really huge. And to put more sense to it why it's really high in the list, and here you can see, there's not much front drift compared to Corver. Try to ignore the release height in these clips because they're not aligned well in that perspective. In reality, the release heights are just about the same. One more thing that I think the reason why it's high on the list is the shot speed. <laughs> That's really a huge gap. So less front drift plus quick release speed is a good formula for a good challenge reduction, which makes this release really good. But again, these are just stats. Of course, there's a lot of elements about the release that can't be put into numbers, like of course the visual cue. These are just guides. So let me know in the comment section what you think about it. And of course, leave any recommendation for a topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.